Let's get into. <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm thinking we do some viewer comments. You know what we need? What you know what we, need? we need is like a giant wheel. A wheel. We just spin the wheel. And Figure like out what we do topics. next. Yeah, because I'll forget if, we, if they're not written down. I mean, thankfully you're in charge, and I'm just I'm just here for. You're here for. You're here, man. Comments. You're my backup, man. You're my backup. Viewer yeah. comments. Viewer comments is what we're gonna do. Okay, so um, these are when it's kind of confusing, Ryan. It's kind of confusing, but some people forget. When people comment on a video, we read the comments. Right. And then we talk about them on the mic. Let's do it. What's but, confusing? Th- that's what's confusing about it. All right, here we go. Um, can you please read uh, Brant's comment? This is from Brant. Have you guys ever walked into a new LCS and got a total blow off? <laughs> oh my gosh, Ryan. Okay, moving on. This like LCS- a child. <laughs> this LCS, I have not. This LCS bags and boards all their books. So I was excited to drive out of my way about 45 minutes and two tolls to get there. That's right. There's tolls in parts of the country. Right, this, yes. yes there Not are. up here, but I'm, Not I'm, here I'm from the New York, Coast. man. So there, it's a very true thing. I was excited. I was excited to drive out of my way to go there and pick up a few books and maybe try and get on a sub list. I was so dismissed and alienated by his arrogance. I just ended up walking out. Granted, I'm no golden age guru, but I would say, I would say every month I spend 300 to 700 a month or so on books. So I'm not a jerk either. When I told my wife what happened, she compared it to when she would go to a higher-end jewelry store or furniture store. What do I need to do to not be treated like a jerk? All right, so Comic Fam, I think I'm going to make this this clip um, when we repost it uh, next week titled something along the lines of, Comic Book Stores Don't Do This. All right? You know, I, I chat with a lot of stores, you know, constantly. There's a lot of, I try to support as many people as I can, you know. I want to help this community grow and thrive. And... This one right here is my cat, Butch. Is Butch, and he hates it too. When, when someone goes into an LCS, first off, it is amazing that uh, he's just biting me. He's full on biting me. He's just you. biting me. He's like, dude, you got to just let me walk on the table, damn it. I want to be with Ryan. He's, he's just like, gnawing on my hand. He's trying to devour right your entire hand. My hand is being eaten by my cat. This is how you know cats are evil. They just want to eat you. You take that back, sir. Oh, my goodness. It's Look okay. at him. He's a uh-huh. good guy. I could just, He's not going to eat me while I'm alive, but dude, if I died and my body was just left here, you'd be dead. over time, right. he would start eating me, I bet. And Look that's, at him. He's planning it already. He's You're like, famous, Butch. I know, right? Bye. Then Bye. Got to. So this is like what not to do with when you have an LCS. So I want to remind everybody that the world we're living in where we have stores that sell a paper item to read, okay, Correct. that you have to subscribe to like it's a damn magazine, right. okay? I got cat hair in my mouth. It's the best place for it. And I'm touching my, my, my mouth, my, my, my tongue with my hand. And there's cat hair on my hand. This is what happens. When you have a medium like this and you go to a location to purchase it, to read it by hand, it doesn't make sense. This is not something that makes sense with the technology that exists, that there is a, a that this is a, a, a service that should exist. I, I think it be. should. Don't get me wrong. There's a value to it. I'm, you know, I, you know, die by it kind of thing. But this is something that, we need to respect that in the 21st century, comic books, they're akin to like magazines. When was the last time you went to a magazine shop? You know, like back in the day, go to the mall. Those? They, exactly. <laughs> or, or Pike, we live in Seattle. Right. Pike Place Market, right? There's there a used big to like be, newsstand there. there. Yeah. There used to be a lot more of them. Okay. There used to be stores devoted to, yeah, this is where you get your magazine subscription. And then that went away because you could get them by mail. And then they went away because why do you read magazines by hand? You go digital, right? Oh, and then comics go digital. What? Yeah, it's because there's so much to be, there's so much value that comes from an in-hand comic book that it creates all the things that we love. You got to respect it more than this member's experience at an LCS. This I, LCS yeah. failed this customer. Any customer that walks through your door as a, as, a, as a comic shop person should be greeted with like roaring applause, like on the soundboard, which I don't think we have that button anymore. Ah! Thank you. See, Ryan doesn't like the soundboard, but when I use it, He's over here dictating it. Exactly. I thought it was one of the buttons you got rid of. No. No. Oh. No. We should have that at Mill Geek when someone walks in. Applause. Thank you. Hey, you're here to How buy a dollar you? bin book? Sure. Amazing. Thank you for coming in. Right this way. Sir. Amazing. Oh, you didn't have to come in. You could have read this online. You know, you could have done anything. You could have bought the graphic novel from Amazon and read it. You could have done a lot of things before this, but instead you came in. Oh, what's this? 
you, you, you want to get into a, 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 a collectible comic book? You want to buy a collectible comic book? Hot damn. That's amazing. You didn't have to do that. You could have read that in a lot of different ways. But again, it's just like, well, we're going to protect this. This moment, it happens so often. All right. And I'm that's very why conscious of this when I work at the comic shop and someone comes in. I'm very conscious to not be like, what do you want? Am I driving a, a point at this point home comic fam? I wanted this to be like Stan's soapbox here. You got to make, like, if you're an LCS, you got to go all out for every single person who comes in, regardless of how much they're going to spend on your comic books. You got to treat them right. Don't blow them off. Don't blow them off. Well put. Fire guy, Ryan. Okay. So the next comment here is a lot of fun. In 2019, after many years of not having it, I finally bought an Uncanny X-Men 248. This is the first Jim Lee on the X-Men title from eBay. Shortly after, I went to Washington State Summer Con and got it signed by Claremont and Lee. Bucket list item. Check. Cheers from OMAC. Oh, hey. There we go. Local cat over here. And this is what's cool about this one. This is from our uh, $10 keys section on our last live show. And we showcased X-Men 248 because you can find that for five bucks for a dollar for $10 in high grade. And with all these keys going up, I thought, hey, let's give some love to some undervalued books. And this one was one that many people said, Yo, I got this in my collection. I have to own this book. I think it's a cool comment because this person got a really dope collectible and got it signed. That's just an extra layer. And that's a local con. There we go. All right, um, Ryan, this next, this next one's for you, brother. I picked this one for you. It says, it's great to hear Fire Guy Ryan's voice. I think this member right here missed you on the show after your, you weren't even really on a hiatus. You were just yeah, it was. learning. <laughs> Whatever the worst word is for hiatus. It was, it was like, the thing is, it wasn't a hiatus because you were doing things behind the scenes, making the comics happen. Right. You, you quit your job and started working comics full time. So I like, did. That was the thing that happened. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, ooh, I'm going to relax comment. All right, so this one right here, um, this one right here is just uh, more members <laughs> backing me on the soundboard. Bro, it kills me when Tom hits the homie song and jams to it. I love that shit. Comic fam. Because it's trash. Jo oh, we're supposed to be saying the names of the people. I'm so sorry. Jose Quintanilla. This is for you, brother. Damn right. Okay. Give me some trash. Give me some trash. Because it's trash. <laughs> That's <laughs> he my does not opinion. like the soundboard, but you know what? He likes it when Frank is on there. Oh, uh, yes. And it works. Okay. Um, this next comment is com comment comic is from Marcus Lopez. What does it say? So we talking about the nice house on the lake. I was reading that, had to stop halfway to roll a blunt. Comic fam, we're gonna get into nice house on the lake later on in the show, but I understand. This member, Marcus Lopez, is feeling because, dude, when you read this comic, you straight up stopped halfway through and were like, I have to tell Tom whatever he's doing to read this I comic. talked to you. I talked to Russ. I reached out to my girlfriend, Tessa, who is here. I reached out to my friend, Tyler, who barely reads comics. <laughs> I was just like, I need to talk to somebody about this damn book. And yeah, it's, we'll get, we'll get into all that. We'll get into it, but I understand the feeling. I understand. Ugh. It's like when your mind gets blown, it's just what happens. All right, here we go. Um, Roland Katsuragi, he says, didn't know Tom could play with the coin. And what he's saying there, I think this was part of our coverage on the coin. Silver coin. Silver coin. Last time. Yeah. Silver coin. Thank you. Right. Um, silver coin, which was an excellent anthology series. It's ongoing. It got picked up for more issues. And the first one followed someone tenacious D style, Picking up a coin and writing the best song in the world, blowing people's minds. And <laughs> I know that's a good one, right? That new and, button has not been used enough. We'll get there. I know, we're getting there, man. Um, but the coin is what he used to play the guitar because he lost a pick. And I do play guitar. I'm thinking about playing more guitar. You know, my dad plays drums. We like playing music together. Maybe I'll like show the community a little bit. You can really tell Tom picks the comments. I should pick the comments someday. You can, dude, you should be picking more of the comments. That would man. be a lot of work. Working I'll let you do Damn it. Damn it, Ryan. Yeah. Damn it. You can keep picking them. Okay, take a look at this. From This is from Xavier Hartley. Some things you just can't get from others. Uh, some things you just can't get from other comic streamers, such as the hilarious humor and office references, an amazing soundtrack, and Butch the Cat. 100% my favorite thing about comics is this podcast. Keep it up. Thumbs up. Yo, I appreciate the kind words, but the thing that made me clip this comment is Butch the Cat. Butch is awesome. He's a walking thumbnail. Dude, he is the coolest part of our show, I think. And he meows, and he sheds, and it's worth every second that he's in this room. Can we look into maybe, like, little kitty headphones? Kitty headphones? Right. I don't think he'd wear them. And, like, a little, a, little, a little kitty microphone? There's a third chair right here. We could just set him up, but I think if we put him on the chair, he would start get, you know, causing a ruckus. Okay, and then 
Um, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, we have another, our last, our last comment today. And this one's really dope. You're going to really like this one. Okay. Cool books from our uh, $10 key section of the last podcast. This should be a regular, semi-regular part of the podcast. And guess what? It just did 